Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is David Schlothauer here in the weather office, keeping an eye on your weather forecast for May the 2nd, 2023. In this video, we are going to be looking at the threat for severe weather for Oklahoma, Kansas, and Texas over the next three days that could have the chance of producing some large hail, gusty winds, and the threat for tornadoes. But also, we're going to be taking a look at the rest of the weather pattern across the west and also on the eastern sea. Now, before we get talking about the severe weather across the high plains and the deep south, it's a good idea that I do briefly promote my semi-annual YouTube channel survey for my very own YouTube channel. So if you haven't completed the survey right now, please consider doing so after watching this video on the forecast. Because again, the more responses we get, the more accurate my decision making will be because i do want to improve the channel i want to improve the audio quality i want to make this a very good weather channel for you all that come back and watch my videos so make sure you do the youtube channel survey today so to start things off here's a look at the latest satellite imagery provided by tropicaltidbits.com or levi cowan and we can see where our weather disturbances currently are across canada and the u.s we can see a very stubborn area of low pressure and upper level disturbance really just sitting over here across the northeast, including for the upper Great Lakes. This has brought phenomenal amounts of snowfall across Lake Superior over the last couple of days, including some lake effect snow over northern Michigan uh, as well from yesterday. This system is going to hang around for a little while longer before it finally moves out of your area. Also, some gusty winds and some fire weather conditions currently taking place across the northern plains because of some drier air, some warmer temperatures, and that's going to lead to rapid fire growth if any fires do spark out of control. We also have a weather disturbance over California, a very odd one to say the least, and this is the same disturbance that will be impacting the high plains in a few days, giving the shot of severe weather over Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. And without further ado, let's take a look at more on that on the GFS model. Now taking a look at the GFS model for this evening, May 2nd, 2023, and we can see where the stronger thunderstorms are popping up across including for California, but especially for Western Texas, where we have some discrete storm activity that is likely this afternoon. Some of these storms could pose a risk for strong damaging winds and also some large hail, but the wind is going to be the primary threat with these nasty, strong thunderstorms. But that's not all. We're going to see more of this going forward through the end of the week. While a system up here over the Northeast is moving out, bringing with it, more rainfall and snowfall over Pennsylvania and New York. But once that moves through, we're going to have high pressure that's going to build in and it's going to settle in and bring in some nice drier weather to end the work week. So by May the 4th here, um, we're going to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms that are expected again, this time all the way across central Texas into Oklahoma. These are what we call air mass thunderstorms where they're going to pop up every afternoon and then once the sun sets the storms die down so that's kind of the sort of thing that we're going to be seeing for days to come not the severe weather that typically persists into the overnight hours see what i mean so we have some showers and some thunderstorms that are also anticipated over portions of the Rockies here, like Wyoming, northern Colorado, portions of the High Plains here. We have a couple of storms that are anticipated. This is for Thursday afternoon and evening, May the 4th. If you're doing anything for Cinco de Mayo, looks pretty good overall if you're in Kansas and Oklahoma. Nothing to really worry about for storms on the GFS as of right now. We got some showery inclement weather that is anticipated over, say, Kentucky, over Tennessee, over the Carolinas, southern Indiana, southern Illinois. But look at this, some more inclement weather that is anticipated still around over California, Nevada, the Pacific Northwest. I mean, it is May. We should be kind of flipping the calendar into summer months here, but it's taking a little bit of extra time. But what's going to be interesting is how the pattern changes here and what this might mean for the Deep South. So going forward here, this is Cinco de Mayo. This is May 6th. 
We have more storms again that pop up here over Texas, over even portions of the Deep South. Again, these are isolated in nature and will pose a risk for damaging winds and maybe some large hailstones. And then the same ordeal kind of thing happens here next week on Sunday. So May the 7th here, we have a surface low, what we call a thermal low. South of it, we have a dry line and anything we get with a dry line here, and if there's any convergence, we got a lot of moisture out ahead of this, more instability. This is going to result in destabilization. So another future that we have to watch for is the amount of instability that is anticipated. I'm just gonna go through this very quickly, just kind of showing you with how the pattern's gonna evolve. So we can see here, uh, all the way through, uh, this is for fr uh, Friday morning, May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo. We do have instability that does increase, two to 3,000 joules per kilogram. And then look at this, lots of instability by the weekend. So if you're in Central Texas, if you're in Oklahoma, just might want to watch the skies. We could have some robust thunderstorms that could fire up along that dry line because we have a lot of moisture coming off the Gulf, dew points in the low to mid 70s, combined with steepening mid-level lapse rates. That yields very strong instability over the Texas region. And this continues for the weekend and even into early next week where we have this constant fetch of moisture that comes off the Gulf of Mexico. Combining with that, it's also going to be quite warm. So let's take a look at those temperatures for uh, Wednesday. This is for May 3rd. Temperatures are expected to range in the low to mid 70s across much of the high plains into the southern plains and the deep south. And this is going to continue with temperatures a little chilly in the morning thanks to the drier air. But once that moisture invects northward, you can see how it doesn't really cool off very much. So by the weekend, you're going to have temperatures in the 80s and 90s and possibly even perhaps getting into the upper 90s across Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. Uh, combining with that with a lot of the humidity, it's going to really feel uncomfortable. Check, Take a look at the apparent temperature here might feel like anywhere between about 95 to 100 degrees just depending on where you're at because of a lot of the moisture that's going to be in place and that's going to stay with you all through tuesday next week so what is up with this pattern why are we going to see such a uh, a return flow of moisture here well the pattern is changing and we can see this uh shaping up let's go back to there excuse me on that so again we have a trough here players of the game low pressure disturbance here low pressure disturbance here, okay? And in between, we have a ridge of high pressure here. So we have our omega block. That's part of the thumbnail. That's what this illustrates right here. Huge omega block in my thumbnail because of the ridge that's in place. And the pattern changes. We get returning flow. We get southwesterly flow over the high plains that allows the moisture to kind of surge up north into Texas, Oklahoma. This is not particularly a strong trough by any means, but what it's going to do, it's going to change the pattern. It's going to bring more moisture back from the Gulf into the high plains. And when we get shear, when we get convergence, right, dry air meeting moist air, well, we get thunderstorms that are going to be a probability chance through each and every day. So therefore, the Storm Prediction Center has issued a slight risk for severe weather today for western Texas, eastern New Mexico. This is driven Partly, oops, where's our, okay, let's go to our severe outlook here. So this is partly due to a 5% risk for hail, mainly dr driven by strong winds, as you can see here. And you just saw the tornado outlook, really nothing too significant. And then, of course, tomorrow is a marginal risk for severe weather. And then day three is when our next chance of more significant severe weather could return. It's not significant yet. Um, but like I said, it, it it's definitely elevated out there. And if we go to our combined outlook, there is a non-SIG right now over Central Texas and Oklahoma. So just be aware of that. If you're doing anything outdoors from Thursday to Friday, this is going to start that period where we do have to watch the models closely for strong thunderstorms each and every afternoon. I do plan on live streaming a couple of these events. I'm not sure if I'm going to do every one, but I do plan on doing something for you all that like the channel and like my streams so much. But you could only do that if you do take the YouTube channel survey. Um, it's Again, there's a link in the description below this video. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video. And also 
Be sure to check out TrilogyMaps.com with the promotion right now. I am incredibly excited to announce that I'm officially an affiliate with TrilogyMaps.com. The link will be in the description and the pinned comment below. Trilogy Maps has created the highest definition, the most customizable digital maps you can find anywhere online at a highly affordable price. These maps are so customizable due to a very unique layering system that makes it possible to create whatever map you like. Making weather maps that look incredibly professional has never been this easy before. So if you want the highest definition, the most customizable, and the most professional looking weather maps that you can make up for a very affordable price, go ahead and check out TrilogyMaps.com. And again, be sure to use my 20% off discount code by going to TrilogyMaps.com and then entering the code DAVID before finalizing your purchase. Well, that's going to sum it up for today's video. If you did enjoy the video and content, please consider subscribing if you're new, hitting the like button, and sharing this video with your family and friends, and leaving a comment in the section below. But until next time, I will catch you in the next video tomorrow.